Hello everyone, welcome to the 200 seconds of learning. This is the second video in the fossil fuels series. In the previous video, we have seen how fossil fuels are formed in nature and extracted as coal, petroleum, and natural gas. Have you wondered how petrol, diesel, LPG, and kerosene are obtained from these fuels? In this video, we will see how fossil fuels are refined and converted into the fuel that we use in day-to-day -day life. So let us start with coal. Coal is the solid form of fossil fuel formed in nature under high temperatures and pressure. Once dug in the mines, coal is washed and processed to remove impurities. Coal holds energy in the form of carbon. Based on the amount of carbon it contains, coal is classified into one of the four categories, anthracite, bituminous, subbituminous, and lignite. Anthracite contains the most carbon whereas lignite has the lowest carbon content thus it is also called brown coal. The higher the carbon content, the higher the energy output from coal upon burning. Each kilogram of anthracite produces 30 megajoules of energy. Whereas 1 kilogram of lignite produces around 10 megajoules of energy. In addition to carbon, coal contains moisture, ash, volatile matter, mercury, and sulfur. Majorly, coal is used in steel production and electricity production. Petroleum, which is the liquid form of fossil fuel, is brought to oil refineries from oil rigs and wells. Since petroleum is a mixture of different types of fuels, it is not only refined but distilled as well. The different component of petroleum has a different boiling point and the distillation process makes use of this property. Initially, all the petroleum is converted to gas form by heating in a furnace. The gaseous form is blown in a fractional column where with height, temperature reduces. The lowest fraction which is also the hottest is where asphalt condenses. As the gas moves up, around 350 degrees centigrade temperature, lubricating oil condenses to liquid form. Around 300 degrees, fuel oil is obtained. Diesel condenses around 260 degrees, kerosene around 180 degrees, naphtha around 120 degrees, and petrol condenses around 60 degrees centigrade temperature. The remaining gases are vent out from the top and are called liquid petroleum gas. Carbon content reduces as we move from asphalt to petroleum gas. Different fuels obtained after fractional distillation have different usages. For example, asphalt is used in road construction. Fuel oil is used in ships. Lubricating oil is used in engines of vehicles such as cars, bikes, buses etc. to reduce friction. Diesel is used in engines which need high power such as trucks. Paraffin, which is a more refined version of kerosene, is used in aeroplanes. Naphtha is used in making petrochemicals. These chemicals are used in the manufacturing of plastics, medicines, furniture, appliances, solar panels, PVC pipes etc. Petrol is used in light vehicles such as bikes and cars. Petroleum gas or LPG is widely used in households for cooking. A barrel which contains 42 gallons of crude oil, after refinement, produces 19.4 gallons of gasoline, 10.5 gallons of diesel, 4.1 gallons of paraffin, and other fuels in small amounts. The refining process of natural gas starts at the extraction site itself. Natural gas contains impurities in solid, liquid, and gaseous forms. Sand and other solid impurities are removed at the extraction site. Liquid impurities such as petroleum, natural gas liquids, and water are removed at refineries. Gaseous impurities such as carbon dioxide, sulfur, and water vapor are also removed at refineries. After refining, natural gas becomes dry and is called pipeline quality gas. Natural gas is used in power plants, industries, households, and vehicles. In the next video, we will discuss the economic aspect of fossil fuels.